Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you a very interesting workflow in Comfy UI that uses the F5 TTS local voice model to clone a sample audio and generate text to speech with any text you input all in just a few seconds. And here's an example of a zero shot cloning from my voice. The storm raged outside, rattling the windows as Jake huddled under his blanket, gripping his flashlight. He had always loved scary stories, but tonight, the shadows in his room seemed a little too real. A little bit more about F5 TTS. It is a text-to-speech model that can generate realistic and human-like voices from text. What makes it very special is its ability to clone a voice from just a short 5-second sample, meaning you can make the AI speak in any voice without needing hours of training data. This process is called zero-shot cloning, allowing you to feed the model a small audio clip and it will generate a speech in the same tone, pitch, and style. It also supports multiple languages and accents and it makes it a great for AI voiceovers, narration, and character speech. Plus, since it's completely open source with an MIT license, meaning it's open for any commercial uses and anyone can try it out for free and integrate it into other AI tools. The F5 TTS model can also operate on systems with low VRAM as it's known to be able to run below 8GB of VRAM. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to set up F5 TTS in Comfy UI so you can run this locally and configure the nodes to generate realistic AI voices in just a few seconds. Before we load up the workflow and start testing the F5 TTS model, we need to set up a few things to avoid running into errors. Most importantly, we need to install the necessary custom nodes that will allow us to use the voice model. The first custom node you're going to need to install is Comfy UI F5 TTS. You can search that in the custom manager and install it there. This custom node will enable you to input a sample audio file along with the text file and allows the AI to clone the voice from the sample audio and generate new speech in the same tone and style. The second custom node you're gonna need is Audio Web Viewer Verge.ai, which is part of the Comfy UI Web Viewer plugin. And this node makes it easy to listen to the preview audio, uh, which was cloned from your voice directly in the browser. In addition to playing the generated speech, this node also allows you to record audio in real time within Comfy UI, and this means you can capture your voice directly and process it and use it to generate a new AI cloned output without needing an external recording tool. This workflow file is available in the GitHub link provided in the description below, and you can download it from there and easily import it into Comfy UI by dragging and dropping it there. As soon as it loads, you'll first see the audio input section where you can manage the sample voice that will be used for cloning. We're going to first need to record our own voice. To do this, simply press and hold the record button while reading the sample text aloud. But once you release the record button, you might encounter this error. Verge audio recorder node, the system cannot find the file specified. This error happened in my environment as well, and it means that FMPEG is not properly installed, which prevents the Verge audio node from processing the audio correctly. The easiest way to fix this issue is by installing FMPEG through Conda, and to do this, first go to the Anaconda prompt and download and install it from there. Once Anaconda Prompt is installed, go to the Windows Search tab and search up for Anaconda Prompt and open it. Let's type in Wearaconda and this command will show you the path where Conda is installed. Next, we need to add these three paths in the environment variable. So we have to go to Edit Environment Variables in Windows and add these three Conda paths to ensure it works system-wide. After setting up the environment variables, open up your Comfy UI directory, right click and select open terminal and type the following command to install FMPEG. Once the installation is complete, restart Comfy UI and the error should be resolved. Now your Verge audio node will be able to process audio without issues. If you're unable to get Conda installed, don't worry, I'll also guide you through how to set up a workflow without this node. However, if you successfully installed FMPEG, with Conda, you should now be able to use it to record your own voice. To test it, I'm going to read a short passage for about 10 seconds and see how the model processes the text into speech. I'm going to press record and capture this sample text. My belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people that will all be done in the next couple of decades better, cheaper, faster by AI.
Once the audio is processed, the output file will appear in the output folder within web viewer folder in Comfy UI. Now I'll play the generated audio file to check the results. The storm raged outside, rattling the windows as Jake huddled under his blanket, gripping his flashlight. He had always loved scary stories, but tonight, the shadows in his room seemed a little too real. As you can hear, the model does a pretty good job at replicating my voice with accurate tone and clarity. Now I'm going to show you how to use this workflow with pre-recorded sample audio instead of recording your own voice. To do this, I'll select all the nodes related to recording and bypass them so that the workflow no longer uses the Virch Audio node for the output. I'm going to double click the environment and search for Preview Audio and use the Preview Audio node by Mixlabs. If you don't have this node, you need to go to the Custom Manager and find the Comfy UI Mixlab nodes and restart Comfy UI. We're going to also find the F5TTS audio node and connect the audio to preview audio node by Mixlabs. In order to have the F5TTS node detect the sample audio, you will need a WAV file of someone speaking and a text file containing the exact words spoken in the audio. For example, I have a five second clip of Sam Altman speaking along with the corresponding text. My belief text. is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people. Both the WAV file and the text file need to be placed inside the input folder in Comfy UI. If you need an accurate transcript of the audio, you can use Whisper by OpenAI to generate the text since ChatGPT is not currently capable of transcribing audio. It's important to note that F5TTS doesn't detect MP3 audio file and it only works with the audio file with WAV format. Once the files are placed in the input folder, Refresh the browser and it will allow the node to detect a new audio file. I'm also going to test how different audio lengths affect voice cloning accuracy. I'll compare the result of this five second clip audio. My belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people versus a 12 second clip of Sam Altman speaking. My belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people um, that will all be done in the next couple of decades, better, cheaper, faster by AI. In the F5TTS node, you can just select the sample and then find the audio file that you want to use for the sample audio. And you can just input the new text-to-speech you want to generate in this text box. Once that's done, you just want to press Q and you're going to see the preview audio in this node. And here is a generated audio with a five second clips of Sam Altman speaking. The storm raged outside, rattling the windows as Jake huddled under his blanket, gripping his flashlight. He had always loved scary stories, but tonight, the shadows in his room seemed a little too real. And this is a generated audio of a sample audio for more than 10 seconds. The storm raged outside, rattling the windows as Jake huddled under his blanket, gripping his flashlight. He had always loved scary stories, but, but tonight the shadows in his room seemed a little too real. Comparing the two results, I think the generated audio with more than 10 seconds sample audio is slightly better in terms of copying the tone and speech but let me know what you think in the comments down below i hope you guys found this video insightful and if you ran into any issues and problems leave the comments down below or ask the questions in our discord channel and and i'll try to help as much as possible thanks for watching and i'll be back with more ai contents